I've been suffering. I've been so worried about my roommate that I've been sort of driving myself crazy. And um, I'm actually glad that I know I look a bit doped up today because I'm tired. Um, but I actually slept pretty good. And I actually feel better today. Um, last week was probably one of the worst um, as far as worried about my roommate. She has BPD. She's been in involuntary hold in the hospital twice in the last three weeks or a month. Um, and she's off involuntary hold, but she's still in the hospital. And I have so many emotions, like just fear. Even I even feel jealous because um, I used to have BPD and be in the hospital in and out a lot too. And, um, you know, you get to talk to someone every day if you want to. And I guess I could call it a distress line, but I don't do that because it's hard. I feel uncomfortable. I don't know these people. I don't know if I'm going to get a guy or a girl. <laughs> Not that, you know, the guys are inappropriate, but it's just, you know, sometimes you have um, women's issues or something. But um, I decided that I'm going through all the stages of grief, um, just trying to deal with my roommate as a codependent. I tried to talk and reach out to my mental health case manager last week and I said you know I'm really exhausted I'm crying and she ignored all the bad stuff and I know she's trying to like uplift me but I felt so alone in just my pain and stuff I think I've gone through um, four out of five of the stages of grief anyway um, so the first one is denial. I was in that for, I don't know, quite a while. And anger. I really blew up at her case manager last week because I was angry because I didn't know if she knew all the things my roommate was doing that I thought were just not helping her. Um, bargaining. I'm not really sure about that one, I guess just trying to think of the positive and like even if she can't pay our rent which we're okay we're fine i found out she had a lot of savings i could go somewhere else you know to my parents or whatever i don't really want to but i'm really happy that things are going to work out here in the end and then depression um it's not clinical depression it just kind of intense sadness that lasted a couple of days and i was just crying and crying the last two days and the one thing i haven't reached is acceptance i don't know how to accept this i think in order for me to have acceptance i would have to deal with my own past which i haven't fully dealt with my own past being sick and being bpd in the hospital like for years i never even wanted to talk about it it was so embarrassing and also people treated me horribly like the staff and the hospital people when i was in my drugs and doing all these horrible things and always showing up and them calling me an overdose eddie and i just felt like <sighs> It just made me feel like when I came out of that, when I got help through DBT, um, two and a half years, once a week with a psychiatrist, I just felt like um, I didn't want to ever go back there. Just the same with the drugs. When I sobered up and stuff, I never wanted to go back there. I never wanted to think about it anymore. And I didn't like the fact that I kept thinking about it. And that's what happens when you're going through a lot. You have to think about it after you come out of it. There's that whole thing. And sometimes it can last for years or maybe a lifetime. So I'm going to have to continue working on it. But I see my therapist in a couple of hours and she'll probably make me cry and that's okay. <laughs>